Okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Amin. Uh, I think human greed is a cause in driving our planet away from sustainability. Today, in this short talk, I'm going, to, I'm going to talk about their relation and tell you how living simple uh, can lead to having a more sustainable planet. Uh, basically, since the Industrial Revolution, we have produced oil and coal so much that it, that it matches our market demand. Uh, recently, that's, that hasn't been uh, the case because of excessive pollution and uh, climate change issues. So what we're doing is that we're replacing those with um, more sustainable sources such as solar energy or uh, wind energy or geothermal. Um, now, there is one thing that we rarely ask ourselves, we rarely question, why is the energy, uh, energy consumption per capita increasing in the world? We rarely question this, we rarely ask why, are, why is every human, uh, why, why does every human use more and more energy every year? Uh, for sure there is one reason, uh, there's one portion of the reason, and that is uh, more people getting access to higher levels of uh, standards of living, more people getting access to clean, clean, uh, clean water, uh, hygiene, healthcare, and um, urban, urban developments. Uh, but is that all? I don't, I don't think so. Uh, let me introduce a concept to you called the Givens Paradox. Uh, it says that um, when we increase, say in an, in an engineering process, we, we increase the efficiency of the process. Uh, it should result in uh, less energy being input, uh, being input to, to the process to do the same thing. And we expect that with every uh, technological ad advance we get, uh, we reduce the energy and we can become more efficient. But in fact, what's happening is that since we have been able to, do, to reduce that energy, instead of the, total, the net energy being in decreased, we increase the, uh, the production capacity. Uh, now that now we've we've uh, improved the efficiency, uh, yet we have ended up uh, using more energy to do um, to for for that for that process. Uh, now the pro the problem comes when this increase in the production does not match the demand in, in the society. Naturally, we don't want more and more things as the efficiency of the processes in, uh, increase. So this makes so, so this, is, this is where the problem comes and the industries will need to manipulate our desires so that we would, we would want more and more things. So the industries will be trying to make us greedier. Um, so, and I think this is the other reason that, um, the other portion of having an increased energy uh, per capita in, in our societies. Uh, greed. Uh, greed is basically the selfish desire that we have to acquire more and more things. How many of you remember Scrat, the, the, the squirrel from the Ice Age movie? Uh, everyone? Yeah, fantastic, everyone. We all, and I see that you guys are smiling, so you, you all remember the naivety of, of the actions of Scrat, just all, all, the, all the time uh, seeking and hiding pine cones without even, even having the time to to go eat them. Uh, we all laughed at how naive that was, but interestingly we see the same, uh, the same greed being promoted in our societies. Uh, in, in store flyers, billboards, and TV advertisements, buy more, save more. Uh, buy a headphone if you came to buy a laptop. Never mind filling up the toner when you can, when you can buy a new printer. Um, as an engineer, I see, I can see the, the flow of energy put into the production of every, every, each of these things. I can, I can see the, the energy that's put into uh, making a printer, a car, uh, or, or a bag of chips. There is, uh, there's manufacturing, shipping, and uh, operation costs for, for uh, many of these. And, and to me, uh, these extra spendings and these extra Manufacturers that do not lead to um, that do not lead to um, an increase in the quality of life. Um, they they lead to a waste and 
increasing pollution and increasing in unsustainability. Now, don't, don't get me wrong, not all of it is this way. The examples that I gave you before, like uh, having access to clean, uh, clean water and um, healthcare, these are fantastic things, and we engineers will be proud to provide that to, to uh, all societies, even though they are uh, extremely energy intensive, but we'll be proud. But the other case uh, that doesn't contribute to, to the real um, to real increase in the quality of life, uh, that's totally unsustainable. Uh, now, this fear spending doesn't have an advocate uh, because for industries pro producing more means uh, more growth and more um, more business. But who would be advocate for using less? I've seen few examples, except for one, and I, the only example that I've seen are uh, are religions. Religions uh, denounce greed. They say that, uh, they, the religions claim that the prosperity doesn't come with having more and more stuff, but instead um, it comes with, uh, with patience, with modesty, and with helping each other. So in this sense, I see religions as uh, excellent advocates for, for sustainability. Um, so I'd like to conclude this talk by just in, uh, encouraging you guys to uh, think twice the next time you want to buy something only because it's on sale. Let us do this not only because of saving an extra loony in our, in our accounts, but also uh, to, as, a, as an act for, uh, to achieve a more sustainable planet. Uh, thank you very much.